Hi, this is Highbridge Motor Homes Devon Branch on a rather changeable and quietly quiet a Good Friday 2024. So we're taking the advantage to come out here and do some videos of a lot of our freshly arrived stock. It is so busy. We've had a loads and loads of really cool vans uh, just been delivered. And this one is still so fresh. It's got Slovenian air in it and it is an Adria Sonic 700 D. L. So this is the flagship single axle Fiat based fully integrated van or A class from Adria. Adria are the poshest arm of the French multinational motorhome giant group Trigano. But these are a Slovenian company. They've got two factories around Novo Mesto in Slovenia and they build stupendously high quality modern, just industry leading in my opinion anyway. Um, range of van conversions and fully integrated vans or A-classes and low profile. So the Sonic range came out I think in around about 2011, I was selling them back then, it was something like that and this is their flagship A-class range that replaced the uh, Vision which is the previous incarnation on the Renault and they are stunning luxury uh, fully integrated vans. By fully integrated or A-class we mean it carries the width all the way to the front. It's been built on a skeleton chassis so when these are delivered to Adria it's just got the dashboard and the chassis and obviously the engine running gear. Everything else is done uh, in Novo Mesto. So I've been out to the factory and it's probably the most modern, one of the largest factories in the industry. So this is a 700 DL which confusingly means it's seven and a half meters long, 2.35 wide and height wise it's going to be sort of just under the three meter mark and you've got longitudinal single beds which can be a huge double over a garage but the DL bit means it's got a parallel sofa front lounge so you've got twin sofas with seat belts which is very very popular with the UK market and something which took the Europeans a long time to get around. So these are one of the best looking vans on the market in my opinion in the terms of fully integrated things so they've gone for full automotive styling so you've got these amazing uh, Hella LED headlamps really really cool uh, the um, Adria grill on the front of it there so obviously because it carries the width all the way to the front it's warmer it's got a swing down electric front guest bed so it's a full berth four seat belt van so it's Fiat Ducato it's got the range topping uh, 2380 horsepower allied to the nine speed ZF German fully automatic gearbox so that's about as good as it gets um, weight wise four and a quarter ton I think four and a quarter four and a half so you will need a C1 driving license but it will give you a massive payload and uh, it's a cheaper road tax as well now Adria for many years uh, being based in Slovenia have had to export everything they've been going over 60 years and they've been succeeding by exporting their product into Germany, France and Britain and beating those domestic manufacturers at their own game and if you think to persuade a German to buy a non-German product when he could buy a Heimer, a Naus, a Deathlefs, uh, a Bursner you have to be very very good and that's what they are so walking around the outside you've got the coach style wing mirrors a fantastic visibility along with the huge visibility around the cab cab door is on the passenger side of course these are designed for left hand drive chassis for the rest of Europe it's got a nice wide cab door and obviously this won't let in any drafts unlike the cab doors of a semi integrated van Double glazed windows all the way around, grade three fully winterized. Look at these new big service hatches. So we've got your diesel fill up point there. These are massive hatches. And your add blue there, Euro 6 final, latest emissions compliant. Fresh water fill up point here. So you've got double floor with the tanks within it. And your sucker pump plug-in point. So these for the UK market come with a with a hose with a pump on it. So if you want to bring water to your van, it will suck it up and fill your 140 litre fresh water tank. And, or you can just put a hose in like normal. Flu for your Aldi heating system. So instead of having blown air heating, these have got Aldi as standards. So Aldi is wet radiator heating and hot water. Now, interestingly, my colleague pointed out before, what they've done is, it's a really good idea, Behind there, probably can't see it, but see that pipe there? That is an Aldi heating radiator. So instead of being blown air heating, it's got the radiators run all through the van, runs off gas if you're not on the mains, mains electric if you are, and it creates a soft, silent, ambient heat, which is just lovely. It's like stepping into a warm bath. But by putting that across there, of course, they've created uh, a 
uh, what should we call it, a curtain of warm air which will keep your cab area, which is always the coolest part of any van, warmer, uh, help to stop condensation, etc, etc. So, gas locker for two 11 kilo gas bottles. Europeans do 11s, we don't, we do 13s or 6s. You'll get a pair of 6s in there, or we can fit one or two 11 kilo refillable gas bottles for you to fill up at a LPG fill-in point. And you have to talk to us about that, decide what's best for you. 30% toilet locker, and to the rear you've got a massive garage, which we'll have a look at from the other side, and it is a humongous garage as they go. There is bike rack fixing clamps at the back so if you do want a bike rack uh, you can just clip one onto there but why would you do that when you keep it in the garage instead high level reversing camera at the back as well so you're not really having to add much in this I mean it's £136,000 you shouldn't have to add much but if you look at some of the German vans in particular you can pay that much money and still have to pay thousands more but this has got in with that price it's the biggest engine it's got the auto gearbox it's got the awning it's got the 10 inch fiat factory fitted um, entertainment system with your apple carplay android auto play it's got habitation air conditioning uh, in that price so it is value added even though it's a lot of money but in the sector it's in they really do stack up and what a good looking van it is as well the lounge window, habitation door, vents for your large three-way fridge freezer and then your garage door to the back there which is, as garages go, a big garage. So everything's all really just well finished and thought out. So the garage has got 12 volt and main sockets in it. It's got Aldi radiators in it, again for severe cold weather use, stop your things in your garage freezing. There's an external shower attachment in there as well. It's even got this drawer, which I love. It's, uh, as I just said to James, my colleague there, this is a stuff that you don't use very often but still want to take with your drawer. All nice and out of the way there. It's got a spare wheel, which is a bit of a dying art as well. Loads of extra shelving, tie down points running down the side. All very, very, very good news. And two lights as well. It's a lovely van this, it smells gorgeous as well, it's got like a leathery, woody, gluey new van smell that surprisingly not all new vans have. So, big habitation entrance door with a bin with a carry handle on it for emptying it. Fly screen door, as you'd expect, and as you come in, you've got what is a light, modern, but comfortable space. They do comfortable quite well for a European brand. Easy access as you come in the door for your trip switches, just if your electrics go off, so you can check that, or if you just plugged into the main, so you can check if your mains is active. And a little flip-flop croc holding bit if you want, if you want to put in there. And we've got a, a big parallel sofa front lounge, which is what the DL bit means. So, look at all this floor space, it is absolutely huge. It's a fantastic looking van. The use of soft lighting all the way around and Adria have gone into massive lengths to study airflow of cold and warm air around the van. They've put in twin skin walls with airflow between it, things like that. Obviously double floor so all of your tanks and your pipes are between the floor for insulation purposes. Yeah. It's just a stunning thing. So this one's got the leather. I think we'd order them all with the cream leather. That's what everybody wants. And that's real leather. It's soft, real leather. But look at the, the just the nice little use of soft lighting. So that's the 10-inch Fiat Entertainment System. You've got the 9-speed ZF German fully automatic gearbox from ZF in Germany. So if you drive a BMW or a Range Rover, Jaguar, Land Rover products, you'll have driven the 8-speed version of this gearbox. Multifunction Mercedes style three spoke steering wheel with uh, uh, voice controls and cruise control upon it. You've got hill descent control, traction plus, everything you would think you would need really. And there's full blinds all the way around for, uh, for darkening. Um, loads of little USB spots, rear speakers. And then if you are encumbered with a guest or you have an argument, you've got an electric drop down front bed, if I can find what way to press the button, that's it. It's very Tracy Island Thunderbirds-esque, these electric beds. I won't drop it down all the way because I haven't dropped the cab seats down, but those cab seats are quick release, so I'll stop that about there. You've got a lovely 
a really, really big opening skylight for ventilation and what is a very large swing down bed. And that will come down to just above the dashboard there, so you don't need a ladder to get into it or anything like that. Now, both of these parallel sofa seats have got seat belts, so that will basically flip up to become a forward facing seat. This is the other thing I like, when that's up, it's so well integrated. You would, if I tuck the curtain in a bit better, you'd barely know there's a bed there. It's really beautifully done. Um, but yeah, that flip up backrest, forward facing seat, same on that side with seat belts. Lots of little movable spotlights, there's USB clip-in charges there as well which clip into these rails. It can be relocated to the various different uh, 12 volt rails throughout the van. Gorgeous kitchen, big splash back, plenty of plug sockets, nice sort of metal tap with a rectangular sink. Plenty of uh, drawer space, sink cover there as well. And for many years, Adri have given the British what they want, and what we want is ovens, so you've got a combination oven and grill there as well. Now, if you wanted a microwave above your large slimline three way fridge freezer, so that's gas if you're not hooked up, mains if you are hooked up, 12 volt from the alternator when you're driving, which is a really good size as you can see. But if you wanted a, a microwave, you might be able to squeeze one in there. We could probably fit a plug socket for you up there. Have to just make sure you could definitely squeeze one in, but I think you could. TV wise, so that will take a 32 inch television. It will rotate out and flip around horizontally, which is huge. You don't have to have a TV that big, but if you want to, that's what it will take. Controls for your van, which are very, very simple to use up here, and then controls for your Aldi heating, which is also very simple to use. Tell it what power source, tell it if you want hot water or heating or both, and tell it what temperature you want, and it will just maintain it. Also, up here is a Truma mains powered air conditioning unit in with that £136,000 price, something which you almost always have to add as an extra on all the other vans. Now, coming through to the bedroom area, the bathroom comes first. It's got seven and a half metres, this van. It's big, but it's not a monster, um, so it's a really good layout. So you've got a fully separate shower cubicle. Look at the size of them drain holes. They're like the biggest drain holes I've ever seen. Heating vents in your shower. Is it heating vents? No, it's not heating vents, sorry. It's a, uh, it's a, I don't know why that's there. Anyway, something in your shower. Might be heating vents. Soft lighting, hanging rail. Yeah, I bet it is, I bet it is a heating vent in there. And for lighting, you hit that. Oh, where is it? There's a switch around there somewhere anyway. With a vent for ventilation up at the top. I'm really impressed with those drain holes. So what you can do is open your washroom door, your basin door, and then you've got a full width shower. Because if you can close this door as well, and that gives you a full width bathroom dressing area of a very good size. So in the washroom, toilet room, call it what you will, big basin, shower, hello, shower, not a shower, mirror, big storage. Perfect for the toilet there, more big storage underneath. And so then the other side, you've got your shower, which you can of course close this door as well or close that door or do many many things so at the back I'm just gonna open up the door and step back a little bit so at the back you've got a massive bedroom area so two really wide uh, single beds which are slatted underneath for breathability optional pull out infill bit to turn this into the world's biggest double bed beautiful big curved cabinet work there as well um, loads of storage built in under the bed so that's absolutely massive wardrobe in there other side we've got used drawers for all your clothes that's your draining board for the uh, for the sink really really deep storage in there so that's actually the drawer which pulls out into the garage more clothes storage and yet more storage up above there fantastic another full-size opening roof light at the back and two opening side windows as well and soft non-direct lighting used all the way throughout including your light up back panel there across for the back here we've got another two rail mounted spotlights which you can move 
a, another clip-in USB charger. You can add more of them. You can put one over there if you want. And back there, you've got your Bluetooth speaker control system. See the Adria Up Media controller there. So you can link your phone to this van and play music through it. USB chargers up there as well. Not quite sure why. I suppose you can put your phone at the end of the bed overnight and charge it. Of course you can. And there's another TV point over there along with all your light switches it's beautiful it really really is beautiful it's a lot of money motorhomes are a lot of money but for what it is stacks up really really well against the competition and that's all you can do i think and i personally prefer the fiat to the mercedes drive wise as well and if this was a merc it'd be about another 15 grand so i don't think justifies it i think this is the the value option so give us a call, 01626 832 790. If we're busy doing videos or customers, leave a message or call direct on the mobile, 07432 662 558. As it stands, we do have immediate availability of these. Now with motorhomes, what's happened is obviously availability has been poor for years. Uh, now a lot of the chassis have come in and we're probably hitting a phase where just at the minute there's vans available. But once they're gone, we probably don't know how much or how long it will be to replace them or how much they'll cost by then so if you're in the market now's the time basically so 01626 832 792 or call the mobile 07432 662 558 check us on the hybridcaravans.co.uk website or come and see us at newton abbott devon we're midway between exeter and plymouth on the south devon expressway and ask us about this amazing adria sonic 700 dl thank you very much goodbye